What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2 and today I want to do a video kind of talking about what happened with Red Dead Online. Uh, I think for the most part most people will agree Red Dead Redemption 2 the story was phenomenal. I've told you guys that in my in, in many of my videos that I really enjoyed the story but when it came to Red Dead Online it just kind of didn't happen or didn't work or Rockstar didn't care. I'm, I'm not sure what the issue is. And you all know, if you've been around my channel for a while, I'm not a person that just plays one game. I play a lot of different games. I upload a lot of different games. Because I think if you're like me and you really enjoy gaming, you play a lot of different stuff at your home. No matter what kind of platform you play on, you play a lot of different games. That's kind of how I am here on my channel. If I'm playing something, I enjoy something, I want to make content for it. And that's how it was with Red Dead Redemption 2. I really enjoyed making story content, but when it came to the online mode, there was just not a lot there. Um... I think when the online mode was first released, uh, right, you know, right to the start from beta form to the first few months that was out of beta, I think the online mode was had some good ideas. I think it was doing well. I think it was popular. I think it played better then than it does now. And one reason is because there's no real updates. Yes, we get our weekly update, which is pretty laughable. It's almost a joke, in my opinion, these weekly updates they release now compared to what they do for GTA Online. Um, there's been a lot of promises of stuff being brought to the game that has never even been talked about at all, really. Uh, one that I have mentioned several times in some of my other videos was uh, when the game was about three months from release and the, they were hinting at having a, you know, the story mode and a Red Dead Online. There was uh, some people from Rockstar that were talking about in an interview having homes in the game, having housing, having the option to purchase homes in game. And the last time that was mentioned was that article three months before the game was released. And now I'm not sure how well that would have gone over, even if they, they may still add it eventually. But if you look at pricing in game, I think that's another reason a lot of people are kind of frustrated with, with the game in general. You don't make a lot of money. You don't make a lot of gold bars. Um, and homes would cost so much. Who knows how much a home would cost? You look at some of the weapons, they're, they're, they're ridiculous in price for what you make. So the, the, the profit you make from playing is, I think, turns a lot of people off from just playing in general. Because things are way too expensive. So I'm not sure if that's why the housing thing never really happened. Or if they just decided to kind of scratch that idea. Um, I, I think they did a bad thing when, when they started nerfing the ways you could make money. They added the new roles. A lot of people were excited about the roles. And then people were making too much money in some of the roles. Like the collector, for example. And then they started nerfing the way that you could make that money. Nerfing the how fast you could you know do your collections every day. That kind of stuff. I think really turned a lot of people off as well. Um, also, there's no new story content. I think a lot of people were really excited about story content. I mean, I played Red Dead Revolver, Red Dead Redemption, Red Dead Redemption 2, of course. And I think Undead Nightmare was one of the, everybody's, or probably everyone in the community's favorite DLCs, probably of any game ever. That was just a real <laughs> exciting, joyful thing to play, in my opinion. Uh, Undead Nightmare was well done, and it was just a lot of fun. And I think people were thinking if they could do great DLC for the first Red Dead why could they not do great story DLC for this game and it looks like we're not going to get anything it looks like they're going to kind of stick with the GTA idea you know a lot of people wanted content story wise in GTA and that was never added um, another problem of course been connection issues uh, glitches bugs and those have been a problem since the game was in beta uh, a lot of people still have connection issues including myself to this day there's a lot of bugs, there's a lot of glitches in game that look like they're never going to get fixed. And I think that's another turnoff for a lot of people and kind of why the game has gone downhill. I think right now people would be happy with kind of copy and paste ideas from GTA Online. A lot of people wanted train heist, bank heist, that kind of thing. And none of this has even been added. None of this has even been discussed by Rockstar. And we all know they're very secretive with their stuff. They don't really talk about anything until it's about to be released or until it is released. But I think overall the game has become... A big disappointment and I think it's kind of tarnished the name because people look at it now and don't think about the story they think about how bad the online is and I, I, I hate that that has happened but I want to know what you guys think leave me a comment with your thoughts and of course if you like the video hit the like if you have not subscribed yet please do so and I'll catch you all next time peace